Next up, it's the Darley Stakes, and there's a good size field for this one. This should be a nine furlong group three, but let's just double check. And indeed, it is a nine furlong group three for three year olds and upward gypsy train at the top for Leon Van Rensburg, Ragged or Oki for David Robertson, the first lady David Hooley, Mexican Cowboy Leon Van Rensburg, Poets Word Dan Hughes, Castle Frentano Darren Thompson, Frankel Gray Dan Hughes, Major Trickster David Hooley, Mascara Craig Breckwith, Pierre G. Michael Scarner, Give Me Some Candy, Craig Allen, NF Wonders, Thomas Rogers, Lifeguard Emma, Craig Allen, Ro Soaring High, Satyam Angelopoulos, Darren Thompson, and Tacky Two Memento for Rod McClure at the bottom. So 16 of them in, all quietly installed and ready to go. And away they go. A little bit slow out was the first lady. Went right over on the far side. In if Wonders was quickly away on that one. He's just about the leader then. And has now gone on by a length or so to Frankel Gray. The first lady was away slow. He's up there in the van now. The one that's struggling at the back is Pierre That one is a good four lengths off the rest of them. But right over on the far side, in if Wonders has got the lead. The far side definitely in front with... NF Wonders clear of Lifeguard Emma and Angelopolis. The first of the horses down on this near side is Poets Wood in about fifth. Then after that one, Gypsy Drain, Frankel Gray, the grey up the centre of the track running with Castle Frantano. And looking towards the back, it's still Pierre at the back. But NF Wonders is setting a stiff pace from the first lady, Angelopolis, and Lifeguard Emma. Then down this near side, Gypsy Train has come through to take Poets Wood. The two greys are still racing together up the centre of the track, and Pierre is still detached then. As we see NF Wonders now in a little bit more close up in the lead by about two lengths. To the first lady, second. Angelopoulos is third. Then the Grey Castle Frontier up the centre of the track is fourth. That one's making significant progress. Poets Wood and Gypsy Train are also trying to come through. So too is Frank or Grey. They've still got two and a half furlongs to go. And Inif Wonders is still the leader. But now the far side are beginning to catch up. Frank or Grey leads that group from Poets Wood. Then over on the far rail Mexican Cowboy, Castle Frontano is still there as well. But Inif Wonders in front. Frank or Grey looks like he might be beginning to challenge. Here comes Poets Wood again and Castle Frontier. Frantano is still in F Wonders in there on the far side. Poets Word as they pass the furlong ball. It's Castle Frantano who's suddenly at the front as in F Wonders drops away. And it's Castle Frantano who's clear from the fast finish in Angelopolis. And also for the first lady as they come towards right now. Castle Frantano and Angelopolis. It's a photo between the two Darren Thompson horses. So he won't much care which one of them's won. Uh, bizarrely, if it's a dead heat, does it register as two wins? With the same trainer? Well, I don't think we're ever going to find out because it looks like Angelopoulos has won. Well, that's it, Castle Frantano. Well, let's have a look and see what the situation is. It's Castle Frantano, the winner for Darren Thompson. Angel Angelopoulos, second for Darren Thompson. So if Doug was commentating on this, he'd be telling you he's got the Quinella. The first lady was third for David Ooley. He was also fourth with Major Trickster and Mascara for Craig Beckwith didn't quite time the run right today and was fifth.